Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a very short video today with a few moves, um, Pilates inspired moves for uh, stiff and tight necks and neck pain. Um, we, we tend to sort of spend a lot of our time looking down either at mobile phones or on computers and our necks, we, we, we tend to hold a lot of tension here. So this can either come up from the chest, from the shoulders or from the upper back, but it can also come down. So if, we've, if we're tensing our jaw or we're, we're frowning a lot, this can also create a lot of pressure down through the uh, down through the jaw muscles and then into the neck. So I wanted to do a few very, very simple um, movements, a few simple stretches to help you relieve neck stiffness and any kind of pain that you might have. Now, as with all movements, just please be very, very careful and mindful of what your body is doing. Listen to what your body's doing and work within your limits. So don't try and force movements, don't try and overextend or don't try and uh, over pressurize the movements. So nothing is forced, it's all very, very gentle and it's all moving with your breath. So all I want to do to start off with is just bring you up so you're sitting nice and tall, just relaxing the shoulders back and down. So having tense shoulders is um, obviously the first thing that I would look at when people are presenting with neck pain. Uh, we, we quite often walk around with our shoulders up. So we want to try and bring the shoulders down, relax through, um, through this area of the body. So just give your shoulders a few very, very simple, very gentle sort of shrug lifts and then drop down. And you can circle them into this if you want. You want to try and imagine your shoulder blades just melting down the spine down towards your pelvis. Once you've got your shoulders nice and relaxed and you feel as though you're you're not holding any kind of tension through there, just very, very gently start to turn your head to one side, bring the chin down, roll it across and bring it up the other side, and then the other way. So gently rolling across up the other way. So I like to do this with an out breath as I roll. So I inhale here, exhale, come around, inhale. So just trying to really, really open out through the back of the neck. We'll go one more and then bring it back to center. So just looking gently side to side. Center, and then very gently just allow your ear to fall towards your shoulder gently don't force like I said you're just letting your neck guide your movement and back. Good. so we're actually going to lay on the floor for this one and um, so what I would like you to do is just bring yourself over onto the floor. So keeping your knees bent, just gently roll yourself down, bringing yourself into a nice position. So you've got your tummy muscles pulling yourself into the ground. You've got your knees bent, your shoulders are still nice and relaxed, and you want to try and lengthen up through the neck. So just nice and long through the neck, relax the shoulders. Just take a few breaths there just to really Hone in and connect with what the body's doing. Good. So as we exhale, I want you to think about the tip of your nose and I want you to just very gently draw a tiny circle. So as you're moving this circle, you're almost just rolling on the back of your scalp, on the back of your head. Very smooth. Remembering to keep those shoulders relaxed. Good, and then we're going to go back the other way. Very small movement. So imagine you've got a pencil on the tip of your nose and you're just drawing a circle on the ceiling. one bringing the center back line and then thinking about your chin so you're just going to push your chin down and forwards so 
again it's a very very small movement just thinking chin towards the floor chin towards the ceiling back down Relaxing the chin there, and then as you exhale, just allowing your head to drop to one side, back to the center, over to the other side, around to the center. And then just moving the head side to side gently. And at each movement, just check in with yourself. Check that your shoulders haven't crept back up. Check that you're still nice and long through the neck. Good, one more each way. And as you finish this time, just bring the head to center, look straight up towards the ceiling. And then just bring your arms up. So you're just bringing your fingertips towards the ceiling. But as you're doing this, you're allowing this back part of your shoulder to relax into the ground. So your arms are stretched up, but your shoulders are still relaxed to the floor. Taking a breath in as you exhale, keep the back of your head down and just stretch your fingertips towards the ceiling. And relax them back down. Again, just stretch, inhale. And exhale. So you're just really kind of opening up through the back of the shoulder, pulling apart your shoulder blades. Keeping your back on the ground. So you're really trying to focus in on controlling all of your body, but only moving one very small part of it. So as we bring our shoulders back to the floor this time, just taking one arm up and overhead. So just extend that arm up, keeping the back down on the ground. So we're not arching through the spine, bring it back up and then with the other arm, we're just trying to lengthen through that shoulder. So really keep the arm straight, keep the fingers pointed. Don't tense up through the arm, but just keep that extension through. Imagine string on the ends of your fingers pulling you. Very, very gentle. And you can actually start to, to make this a lovely, lovely stretch. So as you bring the arm over, turn the head the opposite way. Bring it back up. And then the same other side. So we're combining two movements into one. And it's just a really, really lovely opening for the, for the neck. And for the shoulders. So like I say, a lot of the pain in the neck comes in the shoulders. So just really focusing on both of those zones. Good, and then bring it back to center. And just relax the arms down there for a moment. Just take the pressure off the shoulders. Really switch off through those muscles in the shoulder and really try and open out through, well, just through the chest in general and through the upper body. So really just letting everything sink. And take a few breaths each time you exhale. Sink a little deeper. Try and imagine as you're breathing out that you've got tension leaving the body and it's just really allowing you to relax, allowing you to, to just switch off and, and really kind of connect with those muscles, connect with that tension. Good. So, <clears throat> just one more move. Sorry, I've forgotten what my next move was on my list, so I have to check quickly. One more move. So as we inhale, we're just going to bring the tilt the pelvis up towards the ceiling, roll the spine up off the ground. We don't want to push too high. We're not pushing onto the neck, but we're pushing onto the shoulders or the back of the shoulders, just onto the shoulder blades. Just going as high as you're comfortable. 
Now with this one, we can incorporate that arm raise at the same time. So as we bring the spine up and tilt the pelvis, rolling the spine, we can bring the arms up. So we stretch up here through our lats, through our, um, through our rib cage, we open up through the torso, we open up through the front of the hips, and we kind of just start to wake up that full chain of movement, that full connection of muscles. Nice and gently. And then bringing it down, just relaxing there. And if you feel the need, you can bring your knees into the chest and open up the lower back there as well. So if you're gonna do a reverse, cradle here just you can rock around you can do what feels nice for your back but just keep the shoulders relaxed take a deep breath and there you have it a few very very simple movements to help you in releasing and reducing any kind of neck pain and tension so I hope that's helped. I hope you feel a little bit looser through the shoulder girdle, through the shoulder frame. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.